Hi, we're here up at uh, Leighton Reservoir today um, after rainbow trout. Um, the river's low, so both Ollie and I thought we'd have a day out up at the uh, reservoir. Um, I'm Philip Ellis, I run um, Yorkshire Salmon Guide. Ollie, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, hi, I'm uh, Ollie Shepherd. I run Flyfish in Yorkshire. So today we're just going to talk through a few tactics before we set out. Um, just some basics to uh, rainbow trout fishing on uh, large reservoirs. So, um, my setup today, I've got a seven weight um, trout rod, single handed trout rod, uh, with a seven weight line. Uh, and I've gone for five pound uh, fluorocarbon. So do you want to explain the benefits of um, fluorocarbon, Ollie? Yeah, so one of the big benefits to fluorocarbon is that when fluorocarbon hits water and actually goes into the, the film or into the surface of the water or down into the water, the, uh, the big advantage to it is that light bounces and refracts through, so it actually almost makes the line invisible. So it actually renders you a big advantage. And if the fish are up high up in the water column, we've also got the option of using uh, uh, poly leaders. There's plenty of different makes out there. Um, I've got a five foot uh, slow sinking uh, poly leader today. It'll just help get the fly down uh, a bit deeper, especially if we get some bright conditions later on. Now, Ollie and I are gonna have a bit of a muck about today and a bit of a challenge. I'm gonna be using uh, lures, uh, which work really well for the stockfish, so I'll just talk you through a couple. We've got um, an orange fritz, which works really well up here. Uh, there's like a yellow fritz with a, a white tail variant. Uh, we've got a cat's whisker there, which is a really popular fly, uh, and a Dawson's olive. Uh, and I think if you go anywhere in the UK with a, a few of those in your box, I don't think you'll, you know, you'll go far on. So I'll pass you over to Ollie, and he's gonna go more down the traditional route. Um, and he can explain to you a bit more about the flies he'll be using. So over to you. Yes, so today, weather, okay? Most people will turn up to today. Outside temperature is not very warm. I think it's at eight degrees on the way here. Uh, it's actually been hail, there's even a touch of snow. Now most people would shy away from using the dry fly today and think that the fish are down, too down you know, deep in the surface. Um, but actually I'm gonna try and prove a point today that they're not and they are actually moving. So the setup I'll be using will be a nine foot six um, standard fly rod with a six weight line. Now, I'll fish a fluorocarbon leader similar to Phil, which will be just slightly longer than the rod probably today, just to give me a, a little bit extra um, invisibility from my point of view. And I'll be fishing basic dries, as I like to call them. So the first one I'm gonna have a look, quick look at here is the Black Buzzer Emerger. Um, same with that one there, we've got a nice one with a tint of green in there, which I find works quite well. The advantage to having what's known as the CDC plume on the top is that when a fish takes that, it is straight down into the fish's mouth. Whereas with a lot of flies, for example, this one where you have a large hackle, what sometimes can tend to happen is if people find they are missing an awful lot of fishes, sometimes the fish aren't sucking it straight down the fish's mouth. Um, but like I say, a lot of guys would shy away from today, so I'm gonna try my best to see if the fish are dry and prove a point, even though the weather's bad, I'll still catch fish. We should have a bit of a competition. We'll give it a go. But uh, yeah, so there we have it. So we'll be setting off uh, down to the uh, reservoir now. Um, we'll have a good day's fishing and I hope you enjoy it. And hopefully we'll get a few in the bank. Um, see you soon.
Today we've been fishing another episode of uh, Game For It, so fly fishing uh, in North Yorkshire. And as the river's low, we haven't been able to get onto the salmon, so we've been up at uh, Leighton Reservoir today, uh, chasing rainbows. Um, today I've been uh, lure fishing, uh, so I've been using uh, an orange fritz, and probably caught a dozen or so rainbows, um, half of which have probably come off, um, which happens. But uh, we've had a fantastic day and Ollie here has been using uh, traditional flies. So it's just been a case of almost stalking out individual fish. Um, I've stuck today with one of my personal favourites which is a buzzer emerger with a CDC top and it's fished really well and it's caught quite a few fish. So even though the weather hasn't played ball, a lot of people would shy away from using the dry. For me today it's, it's provided some great sport. So. Uh, and this uh, Leighton Reservoir offers day ticket fishing, so the travelling angler uh, or the local fishermen welcome to come down here. And it's run by the Riddle family, uh, so Josh, uh, Shelley and Ian Riddle. Uh, they run a fantastic trout fishery here, uh, with trout ranging from a couple of pounds um, all the way up to, well personally I've seen a trout over 20 pounds caught out of here, so there's something for everybody. Um, it can fish its head off up here, uh, it's just fantastic surroundings. Uh, in the Yorkshire Dales, so get yourselves down here and uh, have a day and have a great day out. Have a great day, yeah. Good fun, isn't it? Brilliant fun. <laughs>